Welcome back, folks, to 9.13 test server. I'm currently being pumped full of antibiotics and painkillers, so I won't talk as lively as I normally would. It hurts. But I have a quick impression video about the T50-51, the tier 10 Czechoslovakian medium tank. Now, playing this tank is like playing a hybrid of Leopard 1, Object 140, and the Bat Chat. The size and armor is about the same as the Leopard 1. So, if you already played the Leopard 1, it has no armor at tier 10. The gun is the 100mm that's on the Object 140 with less penetration, but you do get 4 rounds. So, eh, I guess burst damage, gun, but as you can see, the penetration is not as good. The same damage, the same accuracy, the same aim time, and a little bit less weight. So, playing with this gun is like playing with the Object 140's 100mm except you have less penetration, but 248 millimeters is not that bad, it's okay. So basically, this vehicle is like a bad shot. Now, all the stats are pretty much the same from the leaked videos, but they nerfed the health from 1950 to 1800, the same as the bad shot. So that sucks, and this vehicle doesn't have armor, it's a little bit bigger. So, getting one-shotted is more frequent with this vehicle. That sucks, but yeah, this is a little bit better in terms of accuracy and aim time than the bad shot. Doesn't have the alpha or the burst damage, but you have better accuracy and better sniping capabilities with this vehicle. As you can see, the penetration is not as good, the alpha is not as good, but better accuracy, better aim time. So, okay. So if you like to snipe, with your bad chat, then this vehicle is probably for you, but it's a decent enough vehicle. It just cannot take a hit. That's the only problem I have with it, but then that goes the same for every Czechoslovakian medium tank. So I guess it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. But you cannot fit a gun rammer to this vehicle. So I thought you could, like a Chiri or 59, 60, or 16. So yeah, it's not like those vehicles where you can mount an uh, autoloader with gun rammer. It doesn't work. So I fit enhanced gun lane drive, vertical stabilizer, and vents. But that's pretty much it. The crew skills is pretty much the same as any other medium tanks. So recon, snapshot, off-road driving, and camouflage rating. So instead of repairs. Repairs, you're not supposed to get hit. But yeah, this tank is decent enough. So I have a quick gameplay impression of this vehicle. Enjoy. And here we have an all tier 10 match on Ensk. So not a particularly good map for vehicles without armor. It's a good map for E100s or mouse, but yeah, for this vehicle, you have to take advantage of distracted opponents or flanking maneuvers. But let's see how we do. So we have a bunch of large caliber opponents like the E100, the FE-25B, 183, the FE-4005, and the Waffenträger off E100. So those vehicles hurt if they shoot us. It hurts really bad. <laughs> so right now I'm thinking flanking the field. So I'm thinking about going to the right and flank with the field. But as you can see, nobody else goes that way. So I'm like, yeah, screw that. I'm not going field. <laughs> Bad idea. So we spotted a T5051. It's a little bit laggy on the Russian servers. A little bit really laggy on the Russian server side. So decide to myself, if nobody goes towards the field, then I'll might as well, yeah, city brawl. And just be annoying. So do not expose yourself too early on because this tank has no armor and you pretty much get wrecked so think about it as a bat chat do not expose yourself too much and large caliber guns do hurt this tank has reduced health from the normal tier 10 medium tanks it's a little bit side scrape pointless but still do it all right I do not want the T-57 Heavy to unload the whole clip into me. 
and that would be like 1600 health so no don't do that the fe 25b is likely firing hesh so we're dead if he shoots us and hits the flat parts of our armor so wait a little bit let the heavy tanks engage be patient wait for somebody to come around this corner but nobody does so we'll wait be patient playing assassin tanks always requires a little bit more patience than normal tanks okay e100 okay i'm waiting on the fe25b to poke up he is currently being poked up as you can see on the mini map so we're going to engage now's our time it's a little bit slower lagging oh there's artillery one shot into him back off a little bit two shots into him he's dead okay fe double five not working there we go looking get his tracks and run away let the waffle trigger hang away <laughs> so that's how you play assassin vehicles once you deal your damage run away not worth Waffen Trigger is dealing with this FE-005. He's about to be dead. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to be here. There's a Waffen Trigger. There's a T-57 Heavy. Mm, don't want to be here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Back off. Back, 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 back. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have an object. 263. I don't mean to track a little bit. Detrack him. Make him waste the repair kit. And opponents, or my teammate also got another track. So we'll keep tracking him. Gotcha. And he's dead. Now, it takes about 24 seconds to reload. So run away if you can. Oh, uh, yeah, Karumba, Waffentrager, run away. <laughs> so, yeah, do not hang around your heavy tanks. Otherwise, they'll shoot at you. Because you have an autoloader. The heavy tanks have uh, one shot. So you, they're not as threatening as you are. So unload, unload, unload. And unload. Oh crap! So as you saw there, the FE-25B-183 was about to shoot us, but I angled the hull. And the hash hits the tracks, so it doesn't do the full damage. only does 700 damage. So that quick turning with the hull saved me. And once we're reloaded, take care of this Waffen trigger. Okay, have a T-57 heavy tank coming for us object nope no shot De oh he's firing high explosive anti-tank at us try to track him <laughs> sucker oh missed all right so at the back out we have no health let him deal with the is4 while we run away okay make sure the fe25b is not there and runs away so that's how you play assassin vehicles do not directly engage Make sure you have the advantage and take care of your opponents with a clip. Oh boy. Yeah, don't don't think about it. Okay, now we can think about it. So that's how you play assassin vehicles. Also, take notice of your opponents and where they are because surprising butt sex from a FE 25B 183 is not fun. <laughs> And make sure you angle your tank against high explosive anti-tank shells. Because sometimes it hits the tracks, also with the hesh, also with the high explosive. Tracks will act as space armor to prevent high explosive anti-tank, prevent a lot of damage from high explosive and hesh shells. So that quick turning by me saved my life from that hesh. But yeah, that's how you play the T-50-51. It's like a Leopard 1. Mix in with some auto loading from Object 140's gun, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, decent enough. And there you go, folks. A decent enough gameplay of the T50 51. Now, this vehicle benefits a little bit better from open field maps because it has better accuracy and aim time than the Bat Chat. So, sniping with this vehicle is decent, whereas with the Bat Chat, it takes too long to aim with 105mm and the accuracy is not that good. So yeah, sniping with this vehicle is pretty decent. And this tank is a little bit more flexible than the Bat Chat because a shorter reload with a clip and the burst damage from the clip is not that bad for 24 seconds. Basically a Jagdpanzer E100 shell every 24 seconds. 
so decent enough. And it takes 1.5 seconds between each shot. So it's not like the 2.73 seconds with the bad chat. So yeah, the burst damage from this vehicle is pretty decent. It's fast, like the Leopard 1. And decent enough. So the burst damage is good enough. Has potential to replace the bad chat. Being more flexible at sniping and outmaneuvering, just like the bad chat. But it's a little bit bigger, so that might be a problem. And has the same health, so that sucks. But overall, it's a decent assassin tank. It's fast. So if you're playing assassin tanks, do not frontally engage, all right? They're assassins. They're not samurais, all right? They're ninjas. So try to outflank, outmaneuver, and take advantage of distracted opponents and shoot them at the sides and rear. So as you saw with the initial shot on the FE-25B and the artillery for some reason. So we take advantage of distracted opponents and fire the whole burst clip and run away. So do not let them catch you reloading. Always run away to reload and come back to unload your shells and run away again. That's how you play autoloaders, especially with the AMX 1390, the T69, the T54E1, the T57 Heavy, the AMX 5120, the AMX 50B. All autoloaders play like that because of the lack of armor. So make sure to not be caught off guard while you're reloading, run away, just run away. Let your heavy tanks tank the damage and distract your opponents while you circle behind them and unload the clip. So that's how you play autoloaders. But thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. My mouth really hurts from talking. Freaking, I need more painkillers. So more of these stuff, God. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, I forgot to click the thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it, Sam. But yeah, decent enough damage. So professional. <laughs> I forgot. Keep talking. Keep talking. Uh, but yeah, decent enough damage. Took two shots and we're almost dead. So do not get hit. But yeah, this tank has a lot of burst damage. And that was only four clip. If you burst all your shells, then that's at least 10,000 damage. So crazy enough, right? But I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Find a reason to sing I don't want to see you go Just you keep my voice song That I am not afraid to show Bye.